Hoffner? Maybe warn my father that I'm coming after him. <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? I haven't figured that out yet. And you won't because it's crazy. Is it? I'm not so sure. See, off the top of my head, I can make a case for you doing this as an order from Julia. Doing what? Sweeping some crime, some crane deal under the rug. <sighs> I know you hate my family, Luis, but this is really reaching. But I would never do anything to help Julian. Hmm. I'm doing this for myself. Oh, yourself? I meant for my own reasons, to help your mother. Looks like we got a push here. A what? A push. A standoff. I'm too stubborn to stay back here, and you're too pig-headed not to give up this trip. So... Um, what are you doing? Fire up the jets. We're going to New Mexico. Together. Tell the tower you're taking off. You don't believe that I'll have you arrested. Look, I know every cop between here and Portland. There's no way they're going to bust me for trespassing. And add to that... The fact that uh, the air traffic controller is a good buddy of mine. Now, if I get on the horn to him. You're grounded, lady. Flesh. Actually, I win. I'll let you fly me down to Mexico. <laughs> oh, you'll let me? Yeah. <laughs> get down there, have a look around, see if it really is my father. And then what? Well... If it is Martin Fitzgerald, if it is the man who walked out on our family, then I'll ask him how he could have done that. How he could have done that to Mama and all of us. <sighs> One way or another, I'm going to find out what happened the night Papa left. Okay, you can go with me. But while you're on this plane, I'm the boss. I'm the pilot. Yes, ma'am. Now, when we get to New Mexico, you can turn back into RoboCop, and then we'll each go our separate ways. Understood? All right. Let's get this baby in the air. Well, I'm impressed. You can actually fly this thing. Piloting a plane is much easier than piloting your life.
now. Wake me up when we land. All our questions will be answered, including am I a murderess? I know what I saw, Julian. There was a body under a bloody sheet. There was no body. It wasn't your fault, Sheridan. Yes, it was. There was a body. There was no body, Sheridan. No one remembers the news. Has anyone seen my husband? My husband? Martin Fitzgerald. Martin Fitzgerald. He just through the day. Sheridan had her nightmare about killing himself. Oh my God! Was it him? Was it Martin Fitzgerald under the bloody sheet? Tell me what you know about my father. It wasn't your fault, Sheridan. He disappeared the night that Sheridan had her nightmare. What have you done to my husband? My husband. You killed him, didn't you? Didn't you? You killed him. Oh. It wasn't your fault, Sheridan. Your fault, Sheridan. Martin Fitzgerald disappeared the same day you had your nightmare. Did you kill my Did husband? You kill my husband. It was all dreams, Sheridan. No one else saw it. I saw it. I saw it. What do you know? What do you know? Was it his body in the coffin? Was it Martin Fitzgerald? Sheridan. 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 What? Police. What are you thinking just now? Thinking? You were calling out my father's name, Martin Fitzgerald. Why? Would... Answer me. What were you thinking about? Why were you saying my father's name? I, I was just thinking about how he disappeared so many years ago and how I hope that that man in New Mexico is your father. Yeah, me too. So I got a hell of a lot of questions to ask him. Like how it could have been in his family? If he embezzled money from Crane Industries, like your brother Julian said, now he could hurt my mother by living the good life in New Mexico all these years without even a word about his whereabouts. I gotta stretch out. You got anything to drink? 